Your number three ranked University of St. Francis football team jumped out to an early 17 nothing lead in front of a packed house in its home opener on homecoming. The Cougs followed that up with big fourth quarter touchdowns by Casey Call and Matt Kamikiewicz in the 31-13 win over St. Ambrose. I thought we played a really solid football game defensively uh, other than opening up the second half. You know, I'm, I'm going to take a little responsibility for that because um, I got after them pretty good, everybody, at halftime about the uh, talking uh, officials and not playing snap to whistle. So we, we got into them pretty good. So we did that, but I thought we started out third quarter in a, in a wall. So I'll take it. You know, I, I want to play good, clean football. I, I don't want to get into uh, stuff that's not USF football. So uh, other than, than uh, the, the first uh, possession that they had in, in the third quarter, I thought we played solid defense. Offensively, we made big plays. Um, they packed in the box. They brought a lot of pressure. They're going to stop the run game, try to make you one-dimensional, challenge it, force you to get the ball out quicker than you want to. You had a good game plan. They're a very improved football team uh, from a year ago. They uh, eliminated a lot of mistakes they made early in the season with turnovers and special teams errors. So that put them in a position to be competitive uh, in, in the ball game. And I've said before, I've got great respect for uh, Coach Magistrelli, the job he does. He's a class individual of high character. Does a good job, those guys. So, uh, you know, it was a great homecoming win. It was a great environment um, so on to the next one and that's been the mentality of defensive end james jamisich he had one and a half sacks versus usf illinois two at robert morris and three against st ambrose he ranks number three in naia with six and a half sacks on the season after three games i'm gonna tell you that young man is passionate about playing this game he gives everything he's got. He's a great pass rusher. He's a great football player. He cares. It means something to him, and that commands respect. So I hope uh, you know he continues to do what he does well and enjoy every snap he takes. Kickoff and punt returner receiver Matt Kamikiewicz is enjoying every opportunity thrown his way, literally. He leads the Cougs in scoring with 30 points and five touchdowns. Four of those have come via the air. Camo has four receiving touchdowns on just four receptions this season. This year, more than ever, Matt's accepted the we, not me attitude, and he's thriving. You know, he's got a little magic to him. Um, you're right, four catches, four touchdowns, and a uh, punt return for a score. He's a big play guy. We got to keep having him make big plays. Uh, it was certainly a, a big play on Saturday, a couple of them, and uh, got to keep that going. Casey Call was another big play guy, he made a shoestring catch and took it to distance for a score and kind of got the momentum back there in the second half. So uh, that's what you got to have. You got to have guys that are going to make plays uh, when, when uh, things get a bit difficult. Coach Donnelly kind of set the game plan up, told us the outside backer was going to be really active and Crable just put the ball where it needed to be and I had to go make a play and it just happened. Coach Donnelly really opened my eyes when he talked about the we and me, kind of, I know it's a team thing rather than myself and we're doing a great job as a team, collectively winning games and learning from our mistakes from earlier games to this big game in Marion coming up. Matt knows about big games. He's been following the Cougar football program since 2007, when his brother Brandon got recruited out of Penn High School. Brandon made sure the Cougar coaching staff knew about his brother. Um, I came down here for his visit and then he ended up committing here and um, I continued to come to every game that was at home. I think my brother kind of talked me up and put a good word in that he's not like me, he's not a long snapper, he's more of a playmaker and he tries to do more than he should and kind of sometimes that hurts him. He was a good football player out of high school. Brandon was a long snapper and a good one. Um, but a uh, little combo, man. He had some magic and I think he had some people that uh, were after him. But I'm sure glad he came here. 
Follow in Big Brother's footsteps. Following in his brother's footsteps, but paving his own path. Currently, Matt is the only player in the program's history to return a kickoff for a touchdown against Lindenwood Belleville his freshman year and a punt for a touchdown against Robert Morris this year. It's been a real confidence booster for Camo following his blockers for six. Uh, it definitely does. I mean, it was more that I wanted to play my role. I had a role coming in freshman year and it was special teams. I wasn't going to get the time at slot receiver. And I know that I have to continue to get better on special teams and continue to do my role, continue to make plays and kind of set the team up for success. I had a couple of returns before that season or before that game, but this one kind of opened up. Casey and Pearson kind of led me through the little hole and I was off to the races after that. And Coach Wags uh, definitely preaches that during their special teams meetings that if we want to do, if we want to have success on this this team, then we have to work as a team to do it. And with how Jay made a great block, I mean, everybody made, did their job and it kind of set us up for that touchdown and it's going to continue to set us up for success in the future. And the Cougars hope to once again have success at St. Vincent Field, where USF has won the last two matchups with Marion. The Knights are the defending conference champions and currently ranked number one in NAIA giving up just seven points per game. They also rank number five in scoring, averaging 51 points per contest. Well, you, you know, we have played well down there. There's something about the environment. Our, our kids light up and, and make plays and do well. You know, they're an outstanding football program. They have a commitment from the top down. Uh, the coaches do a great job. They do an excellent job recruiting. They're loaded, they're deep. Defensively, they're elite. They got some uh, great players. Offensively, they manage the game. They're an RPO team. They got a great tailback. Going to be a challenge for our defense to shut down uh, Charles Sowery. Um, and that's going to be a real challenge for us offensively attacking that defense because they're, they're elite. So you're going to have two, in my opinion, two of the four best football teams in the country squaring off this week. So. Um, and they'll probably see each other again in the postseason. So it'll be a great football game. It'll be worth the trip to Indy. We just have to simplify things. Um, everybody needs to get on the same page. We just have to have a great week of practice. We have to keep everybody's heads up. Don't come out scared. More come out intense and realize who we're playing. Um, I know they're a great defense and have great offense, but we have that too. And it's just going to be a head-to-head -head battle. They're a really good defense. They're I have eight returning starters. I mean, it's that's big, but we're good enough offense where we can find their little flaws. But um, yeah, they're they're good defense. I mean, they just have to let the game talk. And there's already a lot of chatter going on for what is currently known as the best rivalry in NAIA football. I mean, the atmosphere. There's going to be people yelling things at you that. You don't even know who they are, and they're just saying it. Um, and definitely, it's just, it's going to get chippy. I mean, that's how all football games are, especially between Marion. Uh, it's just, who, who wants it more? It, it's just crazy out there. Rivalries, you want them to be healthy. You want them to have respect. And uh, let the kids go compete and um, be coached and let the chips fall where they may. Um, but close in proximity, you know, you know, puts the edge on because of uh, other recruiting battles as well as the on-field competition.